Dr. Mary Josephine Hannon was the first woman both to train and to qualify at OCSI. Born in Dublin in 1859, Mary Josephine Hannon began her medical studies at ICSI in November 1886, aged 27. She signed the role as licentiates on the 29th of July, 1890, following in the footsteps of her eldest brother, Francis, who had received his license from the college in 1871. Also in 1890, Hannon became a licentiate of the King and Queen's, subsequently Royal, College of Physicians of Ireland. Her first appointment was at the Rotunda Hospital, and about this time, she also served as a medical advisor to the Salvation Army. In January 1891, the Times of India announced that Hannon was selected to proceed to India as the first lady doctor in waiting, and by October, she was in charge of the Dufferin Hospital at Agra, one of a number of Dufferin hospitals founded with the specific aim of improving health care for women. From Agra, Hannon proceeded to hospitals at Kota, Alwar, and Shikharpur, the, now, the last now in Pakistan. Two photographs of Hannon survived from this time, sourced in the Welcome Library. Apparently, due to ill health, Hannon left India and in 1896 established herself as Cardiff's first practicing female doctor, initially at 50 Charles Street and then at 60 Park Place. From 1900, Hannon was back in Dublin, living and practicing on Marion Square North. In 1903, Hannon left Ireland for South Africa, settling initially in Peter Maritzburg and later in Pretoria. In 1905, she was a member of the General Committee of the South African Medical Congress. She also served as medical officer to Native women and lectured in midwifery at the Victoria Maternity Hospital, Johannesburg, from 1914 to 1921. In 1918, the medical directory records show that she spent a period associated with the medical section of the Union Defense Force. That same year, Hannon, an enthusiastic member of the Women's Enfranchisement League, was taken to court for refusing to pay what she called a super bachelor tax, which applied to unmarried women, but not to unmarried men. For her efforts, a newspaper article described her as a champion of the unmarried ladies. Hannon also started the Girl Guide Movement in Pretoria, becoming a well-known figure in the movement. Hannon's particular fields of interest were pediatrics and dermatology, and in the early 1920s, she continued to educate herself during stints in London, Paris, and New York. In New York, she was much influenced by the Child Health Organization of America, drawing on its principles and publications for her handbook on child health education and kindred subjects for South African parents and school teachers. She also published a number of articles on public health in newspapers and magazines. Upon retirement, Hannon lived at Hart Bay's Court for a number of years. She died in Irene, south of Pretoria, on the 7th of July, 1936, aged 78. Irish artist Molly Judd has depicted Dr. Hannon in a study or office in the style of her generation, surrounded by objects that symbolize chapters and achievements of her life. For example, the exotic elephant and globe suggests travel and living abroad. The sash, a nod to her suffragette and girl guide activities. The flowers of the jacaranda tree found only in the Southern Hemisphere. The book and instruments reflecting her academic and medical achievements. And the painting of a building in the background allude to the institutions she served in South Africa.